26 hours and counting, and as the hours passed by, so did the frustration. The wait for tangible information, the family members say, was too much. Some trying to call whoever they could to get what they could. One family going to the extent of hiring a helicopter to aid in the search. Ten people are missing, eight passengers and two pilots. Charity is hopeful that her brother, Robin Wafula, will be found alive. He has a five-year-old boy. My brother is 30. He was coming from Kitale to Nairobi. His family is here in Nairobi. And our home originally is also in Bungoma, so he was just coming from our rural. The two female pilots, Captain Barbara Wangeshi Kamau and her first officer, Jean Murethi, the company says, were flying a sound plane. Pilots are both uh, females uh, with a lot of experience. Um, the captain has flown this airplane for years. We were actually going to move her to another fleet because of experience. Families now left hugging memories of the last moments they spent with their loved ones. Uh, I spoke to my brother yesterday in the morning, yeah, before he left home. They say they want these good memories back, asking the government to speed up the search even as such efforts were called off at 4.30 p.m. due to bad weather. So we are still hopeful, we are still praying as a family, and we know that we will get him. We believe that we will actually get him when they are still alive. That is our hope as a family. This was two years. In Kitale, Mrs. Ronald is at a loss for words. Her children have been asking about their father. The families now cling on to hope and prayer. They say it's all they can do for now. Masi Kandia Tanui, Citizen TV.